And let's meet somebody on a mission. Remember the name. I'm Darren Sutherland, and I'm one to watch for the future. I won a bronze medal in the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. I'm also the three-time Irish national champion. Now I've turned pro with Frank Maloney. Watch this space. Everything he throws has got, got missiles in it, and it's, it, you know, I'm just waiting to see him hit a few people. This is Brian Lawrence, my new trainer, and I've been working with him for the past four weeks in London. It's been a shock to his system, the hard training, you know, but um, he's handled it, and um, I think, you know, he's in shape and he's ready to go. The Irish press and media are behind me and backing me all the way. You could think he's fighting for a world title at the moment, the amount of interest that the public and the press here are showing in him. It, it's quite amazing. I hope I don't come across cocky or arrogant. I just really do have confidence and believe in myself. My journey to become champion starts here in Dublin City University where I've been studying a degree in sports science. I'm ready to get the show on the road. Georgi Ilyev of Bulgaria is my first professional opponent. Get ready, I'll show you what the fuss has been all about. The noise has suddenly cranked up here. What an atmosphere. Expectations, though, on Darren Sutherland's shoulders. Yeah, there certainly is. You know, that's what happens when you, you win a bronze medal and the crowd, everybody's on their feet. So he started off the right way, hasn't he? It's got this exciting feeling about it, hasn't it? Someone new. It certainly has, you know, and, and I think he, he's going to be in a hurry. He's 26, so they'll want to make a move with him. So he's going to be in some good fights. The first test, Bulgaria's Georgi Ilyev. Let's join our master of ceremonies, Gary Logan. And now the great five fans of Dublin, please welcome your very own Dublin boy, Darren Sutherland. Wow, what a reception for Darren Sutherland. Everybody's been on their feet since the last fight ended here, waiting for Sutherland to make his entrance. He's 26, he won an Olympic Games bronze medal. He was beaten by Great Britain's James De Gale, who went on to win the gold medal, of course, at middleweight. But Sutherland had previously beaten him four times. So there's a fight in the pros somewhere down the road. Maybe not yet. But Sutherland, the word is that his style may be just the job for the professional ranks. It's quite a reception, Jim, isn't it, this? Yeah, tremendous reception, but the next one likes boxing tonight, but the place really erupted when this young man showed up. He spent some time with the pro gyms, but taking his time about coming close, he's obviously not long and hard. He'll be 27 of the three, four, four or five months or so, so they won't hang about with him, but I think he's good enough to move it along fairly quickly. Here's our MC then, Gary Logan for you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your special super middleweight contest of six three-minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with red and black trim. He comes from Bulgaria and weighs in at 11 stones, 13 pounds. Engaging tonight in his sixth contest, please welcome Georgi Iliev. We go across to the blue corner for a gentleman who already needs no introduction. He's wearing Irish green trunks with white trim. He fights out of Dublin and weighs in at 12 stone, one pound. He comes to the ring as a former 2008 Beijing Olympic bronze medalist, making his professional debut. He is Darren Daz Sutherland. Your timekeeper is Mr. Mel Sutcliffe, your referee at the bell is David Irving. This is six three-minute rounds. Boxers, please. Go on. Okay, I've explained the rules to you in the dressing rooms, okay? Obey my every command, okay? And defend yourselves at all time. Okay, George? Good luck. Touch gloves. No vests, no head guards, no computer scoring anymore. This is the pros. An amateur success, no guarantee that it will translate into professional stardom. Ask Audley Harrison and a few others. Pro debut bound to be nerves for Irish hero Darren Sutherland. What an expectant crowd here against the Bulgarian Georgi Eliev, who did have a first round knockout win on his only previous visit to Ireland 
in Limerick. You have to remember too, this is a big night for Iliad. I mean, what a scalp this would be, and he's going for it. And he's going for big haymakers. Iliad remembering that Limerick experience, perhaps. And he's landed a good solid jab too, but uh, Sutherland very composed looking. There's a solid look about him. Chin down nice and low, hands up. Looks to have natural power. Fighting as a pro in the super middleweight division. That was the division that gave Joe Calzaghe such stardom. In Ireland, they hope he'll become a new Steve Collins or Barry McGuigan or Wayne McCulloch. But remember their last gold medalist, Michael Carruth. He's hurt him a couple of times. He's really hurt here and marked up to Iliad by these heavy shots from Sutherland. He's <laughs> sagging already and badly cut around the cheekbone, Iliad. Yeah, the body shot took a lot out of him, then followed by the head shot. He's felt the power. His things can out of his own punches. He's flat footed. May not last too much longer, this. Three of his four defeats have come by stoppage, Iliad. And he's been hurt already by the debutant Dazzler, Darren Sutherland, as they call him. His punches, another one to the body, and a right to the body, and a left to the head, all from Sutherland. And another big right, and Iliad's hurt, and he's unsteady on his legs now, and he might be ready to be taken. I think all ambition's been knocked out of him. He was throwing good solid punches in the first minute or so, don't see them now. I think he feels the end is inside himself. Lovely jab. Heavy jab. Looks quite heavy-handed, Sutherland. Just an initial impression. Not rushing too much either. Good control about it. Here's that jab again. Oh, big left to the body. Thumping punch. I thought Iliad was going to go down from that. Oh, and he's really shaken up. Another right. It's all over. He's done it in the first round. Great debut, big night, Darren Sutherland, maybe, maybe, a star is born. Yeah, well, big things expected of him, and he produced tonight. Excellent, the fact that he took everything out of LAF with one shot. Well, I think it's necessary if you're going to be boxing in the super middleweight division, you have the power to do that. And I think he showed... He has an excellent future ahead of him, he was controlled, he was precise, didn't take any silly punches himself. Even when he had Iliev on the verge of KO, he still took his time and did it properly. But that was a very, very impressive debut. Look cool and menacing, I thought, tonight, Darren Sutherland. Frank Maloney, his promoter, says that this is the most exciting signing he's made since his world heavyweight champion, Lennox Lewis and his success rate was 57%, which, believe me, is sky high. Yeah, that, that's very accurate, keeping in mind uh, Iliev was a sitting target after the body shot landed, it just seemed to take everything away from him. And you, you can see that's the, the, the body shot that actually made the, the, the big noise, it looked good, it sounded good, and at this point, the fight was all over, the referee did exactly the right thing, he was shipping punishment, the fight had been knocked out of him, he had nothing left to offer, face badly banged up. He was just going to be picked off from this stage on. I mean, look how tired the legs look, and this is the only in the opening round. Everything had been knocked out of him, leaving the referee no choice. Very impressive. Couldn't have done it better, but it was, just to put it in perspective, against an opponent who has been stopped four times in his sixth contest. Of course, the tests get much, much harder, but Darren Sutherland could not have made a better debut than that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, 2 minutes and 44 seconds of the first round. Referee having stopped the contest. Your winner on his professional debut from Dublin, Darren Daz Sutherland. Were you
you just wonder, don't you, where that professional career might lead for Darren Sutherland. I wonder what he's got to say about all of that. We're about to find out because I think he's just about in position now to talk with Ed Robinson. Well, Darren, first taste of the pro game, how did it feel? <laughs> I was saying in the dressing room I felt naked. You know, no vest, no head guard. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it, you know. I'm, I'm really disappointed that I didn't get to do a few more rounds, you know. I could see straight away when I started landing the jab. I could have took him out at any time, but I didn't. I was trying to see if I could get at least another round, but... but were you happy with the performance? Yeah, I took a couple of silly jabs at the minute, you know, little, little things. We're gonna, I'm always going to look at stuff to improve on all the time, you know, but my, my objective is to improve in every fight, you know, and, and Frank will, will step up the opposition as we move along. It's my first, it's my first fight. There's a lot to take in, you know, six rounds, etc., etc., you know. But, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the next one. Did you enjoy the reception you got from the Dublin oh, fans? Oh, brilliant, you know. <laughs> I can't believe it, like it's just, I, I don't know, people saying what do you want for Christmas, this is my Christmas, you know, I'm really enjoying it, I'm living my dreams right now, you know, and I just love fighting, I just love getting in the ring and doing what I do, people say, you're too nice to be a boxer, but when I'm in the ring, I'm a different person, but I just, you know, I love it and long may it continue, you know. Motor Frank Loney, what's the plan now for Darren? Uh, a little bit of a break for him now, holiday with his family, and then he'll be out on the undercard of Jamie Moore on March the 6th. He'll come back to the gym with Brian Lawrence, and he'll be um, working on more stuff to improve him. Are you happy with what you've seen tonight? I would think so. I think we found a real superstar here tonight, and this is just the start of a long journey. We look forward to it. Well done. Thank you. Smiles from Frank Maloney, who has been banging on and on about Darren Sutherland. Perfect professional start, though, Glenn. Can't do any more than that. No, it was it, you know, it was a very good start. It's great to get your first one out of the way and get it done in that sort of style. But what he did, he did very well. You know, when you when you looked at, you know, his jab was good. He he did take a couple of silly jabs, but he went through it, and it was it was very impressive. But there must have been nerves as well with all the media attention. You know, falling at the first hurdle, the psychological demons cope with it all right. Oh man, it's got to be massive. You know, when you, the pressure that's on you from from being an Olympic hero to to then bring it into the ring, and I think it was tough for him. But he looked a little bit stiff early on. But Iliev came out. You know, he came out to really, really have a go, and you know, it was quick to get his body shots on, quick to, to bang him up and mark him up and cut him. And I mean, he really took him apart in less than three minutes. He is 27 in April, so they can't take too long moving him, even at this early stage, can they? No, well, they, they started straight away with a sixth round, which is, is good. You know, he's been to the Olympics. He's, a, you know, he's been in the national competition. He's a, he's a mature man, and you can see that. So I think they will move him relatively quickly you've seen many prospects come and go through the years what are your you know what are you going to take back tonight glenn i think you know I, I was pretty impressed i thought there was somebody there that came out looked very mature looked very strong he's got a, a great crowd behind him which is is always great you know it's always refreshing and i think he did a very good job obviously there's a long way to go